Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Toth Properties powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today's seller tip is all about getting the interior of your home ready for MLS photos and videos. I always tell folks it's a great idea to get your home professionally cleaned top to bottom before photos and videos. And then it's also a pretty good idea, depending on the condition of your carpets, to get the carpets professionally cleaned. And those are services that you might have to find someone or pay for, or I can refer people to you. Um, but there's a bunch of things that you can do that aren't going to cost anything that you can do on your own that are pretty easy to help get ready for MLS photos. So that list includes one, open all the blinds so they're horizontal so you're getting natural light in the home. If you have plantation shutters, open the little um, blinds there. And then if you have shades, obviously open the shades as well. You want to get as much natural light coming into the home as possible. And an added tip to that to allow more natural light in the home, take the screens out of the windows as well. Um, so that's going to let a lot of natural light in the home and that helps with professional photos. And then it also helps with showings because a lot of folks I work with go in and they are looking specifically at how much natural light the home gets. To turn on all lights, including lamps. And one tip about lights, if you have, make sure you have matching light bulbs and that all the light bulbs work. So if you have a vanity light that has four bulbs in it, you want to make sure they all work and are they all cool or are they all warm? You don't want to mix up. So make sure they're all matching. Um, and that's something that is easy to do as well. Um, but yes, all lights are on and all lamps as well should be on for photos, but don't have the ceiling fans going. Um, you want you want those to be off for photos and video. Another thing is to pick up all the throw rugs. So you may have rugs by your front door, your back door, you may have bath mats, any small rugs that you might have, something in your kitchen. Take all those small rugs up and store them for the photos. Um, and I would say store them for the, the, for the showings as well. It just helps show more of the floor um, it looks cleaner in the photos, and then when people come into your home, they get they get to see more of the the floor, whatever that is. If it's hardwood or a luxury vinyl plank, um, and it doesn't look as busy or you know distracting in photos, um, you just get one clean look of the whatever kind of floor you have. So that's important as well. Um, remove any evidence of pets. So um, I obviously have a dog. I love animals, but for professional photos, you don't want to have like litter boxes pet bowls, dog bowls, whatever you have, um, leashes and things like that, or dog toys everywhere um, like there are in my house. Um, so pick up all of that, store it, and just make sure it's not out or there's nothing out for photos. And then obviously after photos, you can go back to um, having your pet stuff out, but I would clear it up for showings as well. Um, clear off counters, cabinets, and appliances in the kitchen. So you want to show clear 100% of your counters for photos, even your coffee maker. So that's why I always tell people clear 100% for the photos and then you can put your coffee maker back out and go back to living like a normal person um, for the showings. People know you live there. But in the photos, people want to see what kind of counter space you have. And that's what they're looking for specifically. So you don't want to have a bunch of stuff on the counters um, that's going to make it hard to see that in the photos. Um, also, with regard to appliances, taking magnets down, any artwork or things like that that you have hanging on the fridge, that's important as well. Um, moving into the bathroom, you want to put all toilet seats down. So this people who know me will laugh because they know that, that that's a pet peeve of mine. You want all the toilet seats down for both photos and for showings. You want to store any personal care items in the bathroom. So you want to show the counters there as well. So you want to put away soaps, toothbrushes, you know, toothpaste, all that stuff, clear your counters 100%. Um, and I would do that for both photos and for showings. Um, you also want to empty the shower. So take out all your shampoo, conditioner, soaps, things like that, and have the shower 100% empty. What we want to do is pull back the shower and we want to show what kind of shower it is in the photos. Is it um, a shower tub combo? Is it the fiberglass insert? Is it a tub with tile surround? We want to showcase those things and we don't want people focused on what kind of shampoo you use. Um, also, um, triple fold towels and don't leave any empty towel bars. So if you're like, when in doubt, just run up to like Walmart or home goods or something like that and pick up a set of fluffy white towels and triple fold them. Um, and obviously that's neutral enough. that will go in any bathroom and look nice. Uh, in the bedrooms, you want to fluff pillows, um, and make sure and on, in the couch on the couches as well too, in the family room or living room. Um, but in the photo specifically, the bed is going to be the focal point in all the bedrooms, obviously. So you want to make sure the bed is made. It looks nice. You've tucked in all the sheets. You don't have anything hanging and that you can't see under the bed, especially if you have a lot of stuff stored under there. If you 
if you don't have anything stored under there, that's okay. But if you have put stuff under there and you're trying to hide stuff for showings and to get the home ready for um, video and photos and that, you want to make sure people can't see all that stuff under there. So you want to have you know it made. You want to have um, everything tucked in, matching shams, um, and even out the comforter. Um, so that's going to be important for all the bedrooms. So hopefully that list is helpful for you. Again, these are things that are you know inexpensive. You can do on your own. They're pretty easy to do. And that will help you get your home ready for MLS photos and for the virtual walkthroughs um, if, if you're doing one of those. And then obviously some of this stuff can carry over into when your home is active on the market and showing start. So if you have questions on selling your home in the triangle, don't hesitate to reach out. If you want more information or you need more seller tips, information on the real estate market, um, check out my YouTube channel. Welcome to Raleigh. There's a lot of great information on there. You can subscribe, hit the bell and get notified anytime a new video is uploaded. I look forward to talking to you soon and I hope you have a great day.